this is vlog number one of the Dicellis. Hello. Our new weekly vlog series that we're going to attempt to start. We're not very good at following through on things, so. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have not been out of the house since we got home from Quebec, except for Rob took us for dinner on Valentine's Day. And that's it, that's all I've done, besides dropped Aubrey off at school once. So, I am 100% ready to be out of the house right now. Mommy, it, can I talk? Yeah, what do you want to say, love? Come over here. Love you, Nan. <laughs> it's not for Nan, but that's okay. This is just a regular video, but you can always say that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so it's Sunday. It was my mom's birthday on Valentine's Day, so we are headed to my parents for Sunday night supper that we do pretty much every single Sunday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear weekend which means it's Monday and we uh, have nothing really open in Nova Scotia and the house is a disaster Poppy is sick and I finally showered and I don't remember the last time I showered before this shower because mom yep ready for this walk a slide let's not do the bridge I don't like that idea no, I want to with crabs and coals, okay, and wallies. And what are we watching on TV today? Sing! Yeah, and is Sing your favorite? Yes, because it has jo my favorite Ooh. song on it by Johnny singing. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to be a singer when you grow up? Yeah, I want to be Johnny one day. But he's an ape. So, um, can everybody just like take a look at that? And guys, no come look at this. Oh, okay. Mask, mask, mask. Oh, is that Wally? Yeah. We are out of the house. Woo! Happy family day. Uh, we are on our way to La Have Bakery, which is one of our favorite places. They make delicious food. They make really good coffee, really good treats, the most amazing bread if we could eat bread in the world. Um, and they're also located next to one of the prettiest beaches that you can drive on. So we decided to make a day of it. And we're gonna stop for a coffee at La Have, probably get a bite to eat with the kids, and then go drive on a beach for a little bit. I don't know if the beamer's going on the beach, but we'll see. If we had discussed it prior, we might not even be able to get on the beach. We just got a bunch of snow here, and usually when there's snow, the beach is shut off from. Anyways, we're taking you with us. So, our beach mission failed get on it because of the winter storms. <laughs> so we're taking a little break. We've got a beautiful view. I'm posting to Instagram. Yes. Because hashtag life. I know. That is our life. We have a beautiful view though. We're like in a information stop right beside uh, Crescent Beach. Well in between Crescent Beach and Lake Bakery. 
we have been eating a delicious lunch from La Have, and we are soon gonna head home, I guess. Oh well, we'll try it again in the spring when all the workers are back out and being able to repair everything. So we did it. <laughs> we just dropped Poppy off and it actually went surprisingly well. So far, we don't so know far, what happened when she noticed that we were gone. <laughs> there weren't any meltdowns of us leaving. Couldn't hear any meltdowns as we were on our way out. I'm trying to be strong about this. I am not. <laughs> if, uh, if I had my way, I'd probably keep her home. Forever? Well, I know I can't do that, but I'd probably keep her home for a lot longer. It and has to happen. We all know it's not. It's two days a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's we both agree that it is probably the best decision you can make for your, your child is to have them. It needs to happen. She needs to get socialized. We need the freedom to be able to work. do what we need to get done with work. And uh, yeah, it's just that first initial day. First well, initial. Hopefully, week. she. Uh, enjoys herself there was about eight kids in there at all first boys, at first I thought it was gonna be all boys it looked like but uh, I think there were about three or four other girls in there so that's good and the teachers were lovely yep teachers are nice so fingers crossed for us guys fingers crossed uh -huh. till the next time oh, because taking Poppy to daycare for the first time wasn't enough for us today for torture we are now walking over to register Aubrey for school for next September and we've been putting it off for like a month and a half now since it's open <laughs> because we really can't come to terms with it well we weren't sure where we were gonna have him we weren't sure if we were gonna continue to take him to Chester where he was a part of the pre-primary program and is, is right a, now is yeah. right now uh, which would have required us to continue to drive him. Whereas we can walk We're from our house. We're walking to his school from our house right now. So, I mean, it really it just makes sense to register him here. And then we'll see what happens come August if we have to move him or not. See what our future... Boulder in the middle of the road. Nice. A boulder in the middle of my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, parenting, it's hard. Different. <sighs> no manual for this. No. All right. So it's Wednesday night and just uh, finished cleaning up the kitchen. Kids are asleep. Katie's in doing her workout, watching This Is Us on Binge Cycle. And uh, just wanted to kind of fill you in on a few things that happened today. Um, so Katie's birthday is coming up this weekend, and uh, one of our favorite wineries in the valley, we've talked about it in the past, is hosting an ice wine festival. So through a few little chains of communication, what's up, uh, multigrain Cheerios, keeping hearts healthy, uh, <laughs> uh, through a couple of emails back and forth, um, we are headed to the Sunday tasting at the Ice Wine Festival at Lightfoot and Wolfville. Uh, something that we're both really pumped about. Um, Katie and I both enjoy wine, but uh, there's something about ice wine and late harvest wines that uh, just hit a different note altogether. So this being our first year attending, we are beyond excited. Um, we're also hoping to attend the dinner Saturday night down there um, so another thing that we're really looking forward to uh, they just uh, they just hired a new chef at uh, Lightfoot and Wolfville that they'll be rolling out for um, this coming season um, so I know uh, 
I was down there the other day talking with them, and I don't think he's totally taken over this menu for Saturday night, um, but I think maybe he's playing a portion in it or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, two things we're both really excited for. So uh, looking forward to that, and we'll be taking you along the way for sure and keeping you updated. What's up? So I'm out ripping around. It's Katie's birthday this weekend. And uh, wanted to come into the city, getting a haircut later on this evening from my buddy Mark. And we wanted to come in and look at, you know, getting a new outfit for what we're doing. Uh, so we're heading to the Ice Wine Festival the dinner that Lightfoot and Wolfville is holding in the valley Saturday night and then spending the night in the valley uh, and then going to the tasting on Sunday. Super excited for it. Anyway, point of my story is uh, I'm at Winners and I'm trying on jeans. Got these nice uh, black Levi's that I'm super pumped about in the change room, I'm pulling them on, and the security tag on the back, don't worry, I have my eyes on the road. The security tag on the back has popped off somehow. I don't notice this, but the front portion, the pin portion, is still in the jeans, sticking towards my leg. So I go to pull these jeans on, sink the pin of the security tag into my leg and go to pull the jeans up at the same time. Anyway, gouged myself. Uh, long story short, didn't get to try the jeans on because I was bleeding too bad. Uh, a little disappointed about that. So uh, I'm now on to the next one. Um, hoping to find something nice. Want to do some nice dark denim nice collared shirt uh, I want to be able to look nice and fly for my lady on her birthday and while we're out at this uh, this nice dinner that Lightfoot and Wolfville is putting on super excited for it uh, got a sample peek at the menu today from their Instagram account and it looks unreal so um, we're gonna be bringing you along for it uh, through insta stories through video all that fun stuff so definitely looking excited looking forward to this hey everybody um it is saturday the 24th which means my birthday is tomorrow and i turn 31 um it's not snowing outside and it's my birthday weekend so rob has put together a little weekend away so we head this afternoon to the valley um we're staying at a friend of our sister's like motel I guess it is there and then we go to Lightfoot and Wolfville because it's the ice wine festival so we're having dinner at Lightfoot and Wolfville tonight and then tomorrow we get to go to their official tasting so I've been packing getting ready I'm really excited <laughs> I don't really like birthdays anymore I don't want to think about getting older um, and I think it might be because I don't want to get my hopes up because they usually always end in like a huge snowstorm and uh, cancelled, no power, etc, etc. So, if you can't go down south, might as well drink wine, right? So we hit the road. Birthday weekend for this one here. I don't really want to turn 31 though. 29, shut up. 29 forever. 29 for life. Uh, anyway. No, I did have a brand think I was 35 plus earlier this week, so I'll take 31. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the road. We're heading to the valley for the weekend. Uh, like I was telling you earlier, we're going to Lightfoot and Wolfville. It's the Ice Wine Festival. They're hosting. Uh, they're throwing a four course pairing dinner tonight in their barrel room um uh we've posted photos before maybe i've posted photos on my photography account anyway uh of the room it's stunning mm -hmm. 
Uh, super excited for tonight. It's going to be fairly intimate. Uh, I think there's only 50 of us. Yeah, we know the events uh, manager there quite well, and um, and most of them there quite well. And uh, anyway, talking with Krista, she had said that uh, there's only about 50 of us there tonight or so. Uh, maybe more now since we spoke last, but uh, pretty excited for it. Like I said, it's going to be fairly intimate in the room that can hold up to... 200 plus yeah, 150, 150 ish anyway it's a it's all like long farm tables yeah. all in one huge like, with with all of their vintings in like all their barrels all over the sides yeah because that's where they hold that as well it's it's a beautiful room and it's funny because i have been so excited about this because usually in nova scotia my entire birthday life <laughs> um, has been snowstorms. Something terrible has usually always happened and it didn't uh, avoid us this year. Uh, we don't have a snowstorm, but Katie got uh, blood, blood poisoning, poisoning. And my finger got from a, pulling a hangnail. She, I don't understand how this even happens, but <laughs> she had a hangnail that she pulled out and within literally like 12 hours her finger was swollen, huge blister around the area. Oh, it was less than 12 hours. It hurt with it. Like, it hurt almost automatically, and it, then I couldn't sleep. Yeah, anyway, it had, like, serious blood infection, red line up the hand, almost to the wrist, uh, like, emergency room situation. Uh, spent but I didn't day. need to go to the emerge because I, I didn't go septic. Yeah, but she spent the day trying to get into emerge because it was serious enough business. Anyway... Sean antibiotics, antibiotics and alcohol. Not a huge. Not not the not the biggest friends, but you know she did say to her doctor that we were coming to enjoy this. The doctor gave her a small green light to sample, but not go crazy. So. As long as my blood infection didn't get any worse by morning, which yeah. it didn't. It's which gotten it, surprisingly it better. It like looks my good. yeah, my line is almost even gone. So yeah. we're good. I get to celebrate my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I'm I'm not I'm not terrible with birthdays, but like just occasions <laughs> in general, uh, I'm not a big card giver. And we in my family are like the biggest card her, givers. Her family's if huge any, card givers. Any situation like my my great aunt by marriage still mails our children a card for every Everything. single holiday every, and individual cards and individual cards for one for a boy one for a girl <laughs> yeah it's like anyway holidays are huge. cards you get a, you know they always do big family dinners it's fantastic like the closeness of it all is is absolutely incredible but at the family dinners for everybody's birthday when the cards are all open like you pass them around the table so everybody, everybody has a look we all read them um, Sorry that nobody will steal your money <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway long story short uh i suck at the card giving uh and uh here goes nothing yes so this started last year though i said he said I didn't get you a card, babe. And I said, oh, that's fine. He's like, but I'm going to tell you my card for you. So I was like, you didn't give me a card again this year? Nope. Okay, I'm ready. Recite it to me. So <laughs> take it away. Uh, so happy birthday. <laughs> uh, here's to another year of being 29. Forever. Forever. Um, This year has been interesting. Uh, it's been full of some ups and downs. Yeah, We've me cry, right? gone through some rough patches. We've come out the other side. Um, all I want to say though is I love you so much. And uh, I couldn't see us being in any other situation together, doing anything else than we do right now uh, for all these crazy times and things that we get into uh, and the crazy kids that we have um, I'm, I'm so happy that it's with you I love you, love you. Thank you. <laughs> now let's go to the valley 
<laughs> Happy birthday! Scotia! Literally, literally is smack dab in the middle of the province. About to roll up on this gas station that sells liquor. Speaking of liquor. And uh, fuel up. And get the cookies. It's a Maybe get the cookies. It's all homemade cookies. We've been talking, make. man. We've talked about it in the past. Oh, we did. Yes. Yep. We've talked about this in the past. These cookies are the jam, and they better have some. Where were uh, we going? Yeah, what were we doing? I forget what we were doing, but I remember it. It was hunting season last time. Yeah, and that's why we didn't. That's why they didn't have any cookies. Uh, were we filming the shoot? Oh, we were doing the stylized shoot at what? Lightful Wolfo. I don't think that's what it was. Yeah. Checking the YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't think we posted on YouTube. Yeah, did we, we did. Oh yeah, that that was Thanksgiving weekend. Oh right. Trip to the valley Thanksgiving weekend. So we are about to have our main course at Lakefoot Hotel. We've been too busy just enjoying. Everything that's been coming out, this has been an so unreal hear us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lovely servers. <laughs> uh, so, uh, right now we have a 2001 Markel Foch uh, from Grand Pre sitting in front of us. Uh, the complexity. The complexity of this wine is is unreal. It's so earthy, so smoky. Yeah, like just you know when you have a properly aged good wine, and this is absolutely. It. And they're pairing it with a raised short ribs. Raised beef short ribs. So. Guys, for a girl who can never celebrate her birthday because it's in the dead of winter, this has been a plus. <laughs> a plus. A plus. So I don't know if you can hear, but um, Mumford and Sons are playing, and what Katie was just talking about is a song we were listening to uh, at a beach uh, when the first official uh, I love yous happened. Uh, so uh, there you have it. So we just had an amazing dinner at Lightfoot Wolfville. Now it's only 10 o'clock, <laughs> so we're thinking we could go and have a cocktail. But because this is a university town and it's reading week, nothing might be open. Yeah, so here goes nothing for exploring. <laughs> See how this works out. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby! Trying to decide if I wear sparkle shoes to breakfast or not. 
It's her damn birthday. She should wear sparkle shoes for breakfast. Breakfast. What do you guys think? Wear them sparkle shoes. I don't know. It's the glasses. That's what makes it cash. How's that for a throw up move? <laughs> here, that actually works as a full length mirror. Hold that up here. That's a cute outfit. That's a good outfit. I like it. My turn. Is this filming right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I changed my mind again. <laughs> I know, it's so hard, eh? Like, I was up my go-to. It's been awesome. We're going for our second coffee today. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Just as. Always a must when you're in the valley. We're in Rome. Even on a birthday. Oh, I thought they were saying... I thought they were going to say happy birthday to me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we made it out of bed. Because when you've got an hour to kill in the valley, you drive to the highest point to say, It's my birthday! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? So we're at the Ice Wine Fest at Lightfoot and Wolfville. We're sitting on the edge of the vineyard right now. We are. Uh, drinking a little... Champagne. A little champagne. Well, not little, champagne because it's from no. here. Nova Scotia <laughs> champagne from Lacadie. Having some stew that was just cooked over an open fire. So good. Uh, birthday, the chef here at Lightfoot and Wolfville <laughs> is going to do some big things uh, this coming season and beyond. Um, we're both super excited for it. And uh, anyway, we're in our happy place. <laughs> you What's your name? Yeah. Why? <laughs> hey? Uh, elf. You want down? You want to get down? We at Nan's house? Mm -hmm. You can do your hair pretty. <laughs> so we're back in the crazy company of kids. Our weekend away has come to a close. Uh, couldn't be happier to be back with my kids. I'm going to take it over here. Oh, yes. I'll take this one in. Happy birthday, Katie. Here we go. <laughs> right. fruit flan here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you.